It's easy to forget that Ben Carson is in charge of housing and urban development in the US. <laughs> so easy that he often does. <laughs> um, but he is, he's still in that position. And uh, this week he went to Congress uh, to testify. And it was, it was just a joke from top to bottom. Um, and we're gonna get to that. I, I wanna start off though with what looked like a little bit of progress possibly. And as is often the case, it was uh, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez who was able to get him to sound at least open to a reasonable shift in HUD policy, as you'll see. Are you aware of HUD's one strike rule, which evicts tenants for a single incidence of criminal activity, no matter how minor, with no holistic review? Uh, there is the ability of uh, local jurisdictions to alter that rule. Mm -hmm. But federally, this, this provision still persists, correct? As far as I know, it's still intact. In mm -hmm. And so a person could be stop and frisked and be found in possession of a small amount of marijuana and then be evicted or have their entire family evicted from public housing. Uh, that is a possibility. I see here that, uh, that we also have no fault policies where an entire family can be evicted for the criminal activity of a guest of the household, um, even without the knowledge of anyone in that household. Are you aware of that provision as well? Uh, the, the use of uh, such activity is extremely limited, if ever used. Mm -hmm, but, they are still, but they are still codified in federal law, correct? Is it on, is it on the federal books? Uh, as far as I know, it's been on the books for many, many years. Mm -hmm. Would you support being able to move some of these policies over to a more holistic review? You know, you yourself asked for case by case consideration. Should that case by case consideration be codified in federal law instead of having blanket one strike or no fault policies? Uh, I'm always in favor of uh, more flexibility. Okay, now uh, that last quote. That might be progress from Ben Carson. It's easy to miss it because it's being delivered <laughs> like, like this. Jesus. But he might be willing to actually change some of these policies that hypothetically could lead to minor infractions, not even being committed by the people who are living in the housing, throwing an entire family out on the street. And obviously that is going to have lifelong ramifications for them. Um, if it takes AOC dragging him through this argument every step of the way, Look, if that, if that results in them working together and possibly shifting this policy, that is something good. I believe when I see it. And let's go back to our normal, yes. uh, our, our regularly uh, positions of, of being the pessimist. And uh, of course, you, you thinking that everything's gonna work out. <laughs> um, no, he's not. No, he's not. He mm -hmm. doesn't even remember what he just said. He just said, how can I finish this line of questioning? Oh, the buzzer just went off. Oh, okay, she gets to stop talking to me. Uh, yeah, sure, okay. That's okay. his response. And you then afterwards, right. when someone says, hey, um, Dr. Carson, hey, uh, HUD secretary, hey, so about that policy you talked to, uh, to uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez about. What policy? I, I didn't talk to about anything. I wasn't at that uh, hearing. What are you talking about? Hmm. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. Sure, it's been, on the, it's been on the books for decades or however long he said it's been on. And if it has, that's a problem. And previous HUD secretaries overlooked it. Shame on them. Let's change it now, mm -hmm. you know? So who cares about what's happened before? You're here now, yeah. do something about it. Hey, your president's here now and flipping everything upside on top of his head that actually were good policies. So um, you can do the opposite. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.